Hello everybody and welcome to Girls Who Code. If you could log in at your computer using your school password and ID and then we can get started. So Girls Who Code is a club um, primarily for girls who want to learn how to program. So it's for complete beginners who want to learn how to code their own games or apps or other projects. Most of the time during meetings, we teach them a certain programming concept, and then we have a mini practice project so that they can try out the code on their own. So the first thing that most computer scientists learn how to program is a print statement. So it's pretty much the most basic thing, basic command you can possibly think of. It's just displaying information to the screen. I think today's so, world is uh, filled with technology, and just to have computer skills to be able to use computer science and create stuff and not just use things is a really valuable skill to have. And computers are everywhere now in every industry, so it's very like universally applicable. I think it's it's a common misconception that computer science is just for boys. I think it, like computer science just being able to like create something and see your creation on the screen. I think that's something that everyone like girls and boys alike should have the experience and just have the opportunity to experience something like that. I'm Talene. I'm Caitlin. And, and this, this is, is Girls Who Code. Code. So I'm head to head in this one movie, ending in a one to one tie for the senior Cody Velasco scoring Rocky Eyes or Eagle. Let's go to junior Jack Lieber with his thoughts on the game. Kids can enjoy the outdoors with their families. On the other hand, more stores are opening earlier and earlier on Friday, and even on Thursday, interrupting Thanksgiving for their employees. Given these different approaches, we asked students their thoughts on the issue. It's insane. It's pretty sick. It's not cool that people get run over. 